Welcome, galactic friend. To illustrate the problem I've been dealing with the last two days, actually. God, this took forever. Uh, but um, it's finally finished. Look at, uh, look at this shadow here. This little blue dot right here is representing that there is a missing shadow. There's part of this shadow right here from this pillar is missing. Um, and I've been dealing with shadow issues for a long, long time. So I'm glad this is finally it. I'm ready to be done with this and move on to gameplay and do some other stuff. But gripes aside, grousing aside, this little blue dot right here should be cast. There should be a shadow right here. There should be a shadow for all of this right here. And, um, you know, that uh, this is a really simplified environment. I've got only these four pillars. I made sure there wasn't a flame casting extra shadows. I made sure the sky bot's not even there to make sure that uh, there's not, like, shadows being cast by him and moving around and stuff like that. I took away all the pillars around the outside edges. I made sure the color is exactly yellow so that um, so it's just kind of easy to see. And uh, just after days of hacking through this, I figured it all out. Figured it out. Solved the bug. So proud. Really, it was so simple. It was so damn simple. Check it out. Here's the fixed version. We've got that shadow right there, really nice and nice and clean. And um, and also, if we rotate the camera at every single one of these camera rotations, we've got it working. This is just beautiful. It's kind of dirty at some of these camera angles, especially this one. I'm not sure why I'll figure that out at some other point, but God, I got to move on. I can't really just spend forever working on shadows, even though they're worth, I'm proud of this right now. But let's look at like where I was just a second ago, right before I fixed this and had this Eureka moment. We were at like, we were just like that. <clears throat> And this was a huge victory for me getting it this far because I was like, oh my God, finally these work. See, here we go. Look, oh, it works here. Yep, I fixed it there. I fixed that shadow, but boom, rotate to this camera angle. And we've got these problems. Oh my God, these are all broken now. So it was just that right there. But there's a lot more that actually led to... Uh, uh, Let's, I'm, I'm like nervous about getting this wrong. Let's make sure that's right. Um, yeah, so there's just a lot that led to this. I tried, I tried all these different solutions and I was really painstakingly getting down to the voxel and tracking each voxel. I would cast a shadow and looking at the ray and where it landed and whether it was the depth tint, whether it was the model rotation, whether it was the light rotation, whether it was um, the normal that it was hitting when it got to the ground. There's like, there's so many complicated elements to this, this thing that it was such a, uh, a mind bending um, experience. It's like, which part of this complex system is broken here so but really it all boiled down to this copy shaded voxels just to explain it really quickly what happens is uh to to load quickly the uh the models since they're since each model um each model is actually uh something like 64 different models actually or or more or less sometimes but anyways if there's this, if there's this pillar right here and it's rotatable then it has to be rotated to all eight different co camera angles the model itself but then every all eight different co camera angles also might need to have eight different light rotations that go with it so um so that when you're at a certain camera rotation you can also have it rotate and, and have a nice shading see how it's see how every single one of these pillars is shaded nicely it's casting a shadow nicely and it's rotated nicely those are those are that requires 64 different models basically to be computed so um, the way it basically works is, well, let's actually look at this get box function. Um, this is where it originally loads the voxel file. It first it loads it, then it anchors the vocues, then it vol volumizes all the voxels, then it shades the voxels initially for that zero degree rotation. But then, right, there's more. After, um, so this is where it gets the model from the cache. Basically, it loads that model just right. We looked at it right there. And then rotates, projects, and occludes that model, stores it in as a rotated cache. And then, see, this is the key part right here. It does the shading in a separate a separate um, bit of a uh, block of code right here. Basically, there's a separate shaded cache, right? So the shaded cache is simply just the original voxels, um, and then they're shaded, right? And so that it requires some tricky math to make sure that it's 
it, it because it's at the original angle it has to rotate to a certain angle for the light vector to make sure that it's shaded correctly but then after it does that so it's it's got this shading phase and it's got this original phase where it wrote it loads rotates projects occludes all that kind of stuff then it copies the shaded voxels from that shaded cache to this cache right here and as i was saying it's kind of complicated because the shaded is is at the original zero degree rotation and the model itself could be at any different any given angle so um <clears throat> basically really all it boiled down to was in this copy shaded voxels the real big mistake i was making which was so easy to overlook was that i wasn't setting the correct x y z for this voxel if it had been occluded so this is this chunk of code right here this is this is crazy because um because it's doing that like uh, separate shading versus occlusion, it has to go back when it's when it's actually copying these shaded voxels. It has to look through um, as it's sorting going through the voxels. If it finds a chunk of voxels that are missing, those were occluded, and this is where it's looping over those occluded voxels and deciding whether hey maybe some of these occluded voxels actually are now shadow casters at this new light rotation angle, and so it's going through those determining which ones actually should now cast shadows and then copying them back into the voxels, right? So this is what it's doing is it's copying it all back into the voxels. So it has to, like, like I said earlier, it was taking the original, uh, the shaded voxels come from the original cache, right? So the problem that I was doing was I was rotating to the wrong, um, we're just simply rotating these voxels to the wrong angle. It has to load from the original cache, rotate them to the new angle and then, and then insert that, and then project it and then insert it back into the voxels, right? Um, because it's all coming from this this voxel that was occluded. So this, really, you boil it all down. It was so easy to overlook, but really all it was is I was rotating all those voxels to the wrong angle. Yeah, that's all it was. I had this rotation wrong. <laughs> really, I could have fixed all this in like one line of code right there. Uh, but took the long route. It was a really scenic route. I saw a lot of beautiful things. I learned a lot about how this engine works and how I can f solve bugs in it too. So I have some new skills here. That's that's one positive. But anyways, that's it for this video. Um, hope you learned something and I will soon be working on to gameplay related stuff and no more of this voxely shadowy ray casting stuff. So thanks again. Check you later.